In this video, I'm going to show you how you create this cool glitch effect using Adobe Premiere Pro. So here we are right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. You can use any version of Adobe Premiere. So all we have to do is just go to effects and here we just search two different effects to apply on our footage. So the first effect is VR Digital. And here we go, we have a VR digital glitch, just apply on your footage and as you can see we have some glitch effect on our footage. Now let's move to the effects again and just search directional blur. And here you go, we have a directional blur, just apply on your footage as well. So here we have a effects control, select your footage, as you can see we have some effects panel right here so we just need to drop down this distortion menu and here we have a distortion rate so i'm just need to decrease it to zero because we don't need some distortion in our footage so you just go to your cursor where you want a, a glitch effect to be start so i'm just it's okay to be here so now just go to here and here we got an option of master amplitude just create a keyframe right here and decrease the value to zero because we want our glitch effect to be start from zero to hundred now just move to three keyframe to forward like one two three and here we have a three keyframes forward to so just increase the master amplitude to 100 and just move back three keyframe forward as well decrease the value to zero and moving forward like that one two three and just increase it to 100 and the last time three keyframes forward and just decrease the value to zero so here we have the effects that we got after amplitude is like that now before proceeding further with this tutorial, I just want to take a minute and tell you guys about Wondershare Uniconverter. Wondershare Uniconverter is an ultimate AI powered video converter for Mac and Windows user. You can convert your videos from one format to another without a loss in quality with the help of GPU acceleration and it sports more than 1000 plus video formats. You can even compress your videos and audio without losing the quality and not only this you can even record and edit your video in uniconverter itself it's super easy to use and save you a lot of time so i will recommend you guys go ahead and check it out the uniconverter by clicking the link in the description below back to our first keyframe now apply a blur right here and just move forward like three keyframes and increase your blur length to 10 10 is a perfect value in my footage you can decrease or increase according to your footage requirements now move back three keyframes just decrease the value to zero move three keyframes value to 10 and the last keyframes and move the value to zero again and here you go we got this effect after applying directional blur it's just a simple one so we need to move back to our first keyframe and here we got an option of motion so i'm just changed the scale to 150 you can increase or decrease according to your footage situation so i'm just create a keyframe a positioning keyframe right here so i'm just going with that just move forward one keyframe and just resize your footage so i'm just start with a top one at at the right one right so i'm just move my footage down and at the very right side move one keyframe forward and just reset this parameter and our footage just reset to our default position now move keyframe again and just up your footage a little bit and just moving our footage to the very right and one keyframe forward now just go with a reset parameter again one keyframe forward now move our footage to the down we already applying at the very right side now we are applying this to the left side you can choose or just positioning your footage according to your requirement now move one keyframe forward 
reset this parameter now at the very last time move one keyframe again and just up your footage like that and move your footage at the very right like that and at the last keyframe we just reset this parameter and here we go right you got this effect but if you want to apply this effect multiple time in your footage so you just select this all the keyframes like that make a copy like that just hold alt key and just drag this keyframes and here you go you got this effect multiple time in your footage and also if you want to apply this again and again in your footage and you want it later select this motion via digital and a directional blur right click and here you got an option of save preset and save the preset with the name whatever you want and you can use it later in your footage at the last if you want to make it more realistic you can use sound effects so i have a glitch sound effects right here you can get the link in the description below you can check it out you can also get the link of this glitch preset so you can use in your projects without any hesitation right just move to the first keyframe and just move your sound effect layer right here and move make a copy just select your footage and here you go just decrease the value of your audio so it is really good to hear so here is the final product that we got right here So yeah that's all for today's video i hope you like this video if you like this tutorial give me a big thumbs up and comment down below if you have any question about premiere pro or about this tutorial please let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one